Hi, this is Jim, and this is my first video blog. First thing I'll do is tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a professional photographer in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, so that means, uh, since I shoot sports, I concentrate a lot on Ohio State sports. So, um, if you don't like Ohio State sports, don't hate me because of that. Um, that just happens to be... Um, a necessity when you live in uh, Columbus and you want to make your living as a photographer. One of the subjects that I'm going to be talking about probably in a lot of my vids is uh, Ohio State uh, sports. Um, I shoot football, men's, women's, basketball, hockey, uh, wrestling, baseball, and softball. So um, I'll be uh, showing you some of my pictures. Um, Maybe taking a few videos at some of the events, although I'm going to be spending most of my time uh, shooting them with my still cameras. Um, and talking to you about uh, how the event went, um, probably especially football, because um, that seems to be what most people care about. Um, I'll probably also be talking to you about uh, one of my hobbies is um, racing my... Uh, late model GTO. Um, I have a, a lot of friends on the internet that have GTOs, also a lot of friends that have Camaro and Firebirds, which uh, I used to have um, and may have again one day. Um, and also about photography. Um, I'm going to probably post a couple videos with lessons about photography. Um, I see a lot of people doing it in ways that could be better. Um, so maybe uh, I'll post some videos about um, ways I think that the profession and even the uh, hobby of photography uh, can be made better by uh, uh, better techniques, uh, better uh, methods of uh, shooting, using your equipment to its uh, optimum, using the software to uh, it, its optimum, and uh, just getting the best you can out of photography. Now, uh, photography has so much to do with um, your own personal vision, uh, what you want to take pictures of. Um, just like uh, with any other kind of art, um, it's in the eye of the beholder, and the important thing is that you take pictures of what you want to take pictures of, um, not what other people think you should be taking pictures of. Um, if you're if you're taking pictures of things you don't care about, you're not going to get the best pictures. So um, that's very important. Um, and it's important to use your equipment to the best of its possibilities. Briefly about the camera that I'm using, because uh, some people seem to ask about that all the time. Um, I have a Canon PowerShot TX1. Uh, it's a tiny little camera, about as big as a uh, pack of cards. Um, but it does pretty good, pretty good quality. Um, it has HD capability. I'm not shooting in HD because for my purposes, uh, 640 by 480 is just fine. Um, and who would want to see me in HD anyway? So I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I can still get pretty good, pretty good video, pretty good audio um, with it. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be using. Going to be using it to shoot at some of the events and my and my uh, video blogs. Um, my camera equipment. I use Canon uh, One Series cameras. I also have a Canon 5D um, that I often use for uh, shooting people, shooting uh, landscapes, shooting wide-angle pictures. Um, it's not the best sports camera, um, although it can be used for some, but uh, it's very good at uh, getting wide angles and getting uh, pictures of people um, and whatnot. Uh, things that don't move very quickly. It's not, it's not the best camera for capturing action. It's very high resolution, very sharp, very nice camera. When I'm shooting Ohio State sports, I'm usually shooting for a website called theozone.net. Um, T H E O Z O N E dot N E T. Um, I've uh, shot for the Ozone uh, since 2002. Um, I've got a database online on that website, uh, theozone.net. Um, I'll put a link over here. Um, to the ozone. As you can see, I have some of my pictures on my wall behind me. Uh, every once in a while, I'll come across one that 
I just think really stands out and um, I'll just print it out and stick it up with some tacks like you can see the picture of uh, Jim Tressel with his mouth wide open that's actually going to be on a cover of a book that I'm doing right now um, more about that in another blog um, you see AJ Hawk here with the uh, Fiesta Bowl trophy that is the gaudiest trophy um, some girls playing at a soccer tournament they were the soccer tournament was uh, rained out that day um, so they made the best of it and just started running around in the in the mud that was a lot of fun um, this picture if I can aim this up a little bit is of the 2004 CCHA championship team uh, Ohio State uh, hockey men's hockey of course um, not really of course they have a women's hockey team too I don't mean that one but uh, it was the first time they won that tournament since 1972 and I was the only photographer from Columbus there um, even the, uh, the streamers are uh, important to me because those represent the last time that I was in the stands for the women's Big Ten tournament basketball tournament um, since then I've gotten a credential so I've been on the floor but um, Ohio State won the tournament and all these streamers came flying out of the ceiling into the stands and onto the floor so I grabbed some and kept them as a memento of the last time that um, I actually had to watch it from the stands um, so you can see my pictures of the of, uh, more recent tournaments uh, on the ozone um, and I can cover some of these other ones later um, I have some decent cheerleading pictures and some wide angles of various stadiums. There's a uh, there's Mike Doss um, signaling to the sky in the uh, national championship game in 2002. So uh, that's a pretty good picture. Um, I don't even know what's on this other side of me over here. What do you have here? Oh, band. Uh, that's the uh, this picture here. This uh drum major is actually a girl. She's one of the very few drum majors at Ohio State that have been female. She was very good too. She did everything uh, as good or better than uh, any other drum major I've seen at Ohio State. So that's nice. And I have some, I still have some pictures of uh, Maurice Claret hanging on my wall. I'll probably get those replaced sometime in the near future. But um, those are just a few of the pictures that I have hanging on my wall. If you're an Ohio State fan, you'll probably recognize a lot of the players in my photos like former Ohio State football players A.J. Hawk, Bobby Carpenter, Anthony Schlegel, Santonio Holmes, Ted Ginn, Troy Smith, Mike Doss, Drew Carter, Michael Jenkins, Will Smith, Anthony Gonzalez, of course uh, coach Jim Tressel, Roy Hall, Antonio Pittman, Vernon Golston. Uh, they're all in the pros, I'm pretty sure. Uh, current players you'll uh, recognize, of course, are James Laurinaitis, Marcus Freeman, Chris Beanie Wells, uh, Brian Rubisky, and Brian Hartline, Todd Beckman, and uh, we have an incoming freshman uh, that uh, you probably have heard of if you're an Ohio State fan named Torrell Pryor. Probably get a few pictures of him this year. I also, sh of course, have been shooting basketball, and you'll see pictures like Greg Oden, Mike Conley, Costa Kufus. Um, etc. Well that's all for now. Um, hopefully it wasn't too boring. Um, if you like Ohio State sports you probably want to subscribe so that you can keep updated with my video blogs after the football games um, and then uh, eventually later this year I'll probably do a few after basketball games. Probably not after all the basketball games because they play some teams that you probably won't even be interested in hearing about. But um, I'm going to try to do a, a, a video blog after after each football game at least um, to give you my perspective of it, uh, show you a few pictures, um, and maybe even a little video. But like I said earlier, it's going to be hard for me to take video while I'm shooting. Um, maybe I can attach the uh, video camera to the end of my camera. Hmm.